So yesterday I uh, I was working on the line art of this seahorse, and I'm going to do some rendering today. Um, I did a little bit already, and I tried to get it in the video, and it it didn't stream properly. So we're going to do it again here. So I'm going to show you what I have so far. This is the line art line art I did yesterday. Here's my color key. What I did is I went in Photoshop and I blocked out the body with the color. So basically I have a color to base off the render key color the seahorse I wanted to go from, you know, and these colors here. So I got that underneath my line art. I'm going to lower the opacity of my line art because these are just guides. I don't want it that bright. And basically what I'm going for is to go from this to this on all my pins. And you can see what I got here where it goes dark and shadows and I got the blend lines. I want to do that on all of them. And my light source is coming from this way. It's, it's from above the ocean at an angle. So I'm going to go and put my guidelines on. What I want to work on here is this fin. And I've started another, you know, a clean file to work on. I have my other fin. I do each fin on its own layer in case I have an issue. You know, and I have several layers. So I want to select my background of the block color I did in Photoshop. And I want to hide that so I don't see these little lines and it annoys me. So I'm going to hold up Control Shift and H. And that hides that. So now, I'm going to start using my tools, and I use the basic, tool, you know, this is Corel Painter 2017, but I'm using Morgana's brushes I got off of DeviantArt, but it's still brushes that you get in here. Basically the base airbrush is, you know, like soft airbrush and the airbrush tools, uh, the blurs and the blender, the rough skin texture, that's like a uh, scattered airbrush, just add waters in the blender, and burden and dodge you can get in there too. So basic tools is what I'm using. I just like how this got some all together for me. Can make my own category. She already did it for me. I edited these a little bit and this works good. That's what I'm used to. So I got my layer selected and I want to want to see my key also. So there. That'll work. So I'm going to use a base airbrush. I'm going to Lower the opacity and the brush size. I'm doing like 3% opacity. I'm going to come in with a darker color. Let's see if I figure out why this. Layers hidden. That's why I can't see it. I'm in. I'm gonna add some colors around where I want it here. Some blue in there. some of this lighter lighter blue a little bit come in just a little bit alright now I want some this green come in there this pen's going to be a little easier than the last one right there. I'm going to pick this lighter green okay some more of my darkest color I 
This is going to be the shadow a little bit. Behind it. A little bit right there. Just in this main piece, it will disappear some. I'm going to go darker. It'll go ahead and put some more dark lines to start with. Before I do some linen. Alright, now I'm going to hit chest add water. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to blend this together some. Lower my pa raise my opacity some. About 7%. It's just add water is the main reason I buy painter but there's a lot of reasons that's the main reason it's a great blending tool photoshop just can't compare it to photoshop's great for everything else but for traditional type painting digitally corral painter's the way to go so i'm just blending these colors in this is just the first pass nothing's got to be perfect Kind of keep it loose, and you got to think of it as sculpting. You're like moving the paint around, sculpting the colors. That's how I like to think of it. And when you're looking at it, you want to look kind of like you're looking at it three dimensional. I kind of see a little bit how I want this to pop out. The curve is going to pop out right here. It's going to pop out a little here then go in. I need to make this a little darker right there. So let me just maybe this color. And then poke out a little bit. Go ahead and blend that now. Done, you won't see any of these lines. I don't like lines anymore unless I'm doing a, a certain type of work or going for like a retro look. I don't like to see the lines. I'm trying to learn more of a realist render. So those will disappear, but for now I need them. Alright, so I'm going to go to burn. I got it on 5% small. I'm going to go a little bigger than that. And I'm going to go. Burn makes things darker. Just like right on the tip. And then down. Behind the. If you want to say ear, but, but thin. It's a little darker than I normally do right there, but they blur out. And right. Here also, and then I want to lower that. Not that much. I want to raise the brush and lightly give it a little. Go ahead and give it a little more there. And around there. All right. Now I want to get a little bit of lighter color again. Let's see, maybe this one. And go back on the base airbrush. I'm gonna put a little more right there. This color. All right. Now I want to get some of this yellow that I worked with and put a little bit more over here to kind of blur in later. When I'm all done, all this stuff's going to blur into each other, but I can't really, I'm not blending that till about the end. Alright, so what I need to do is get a dark color. And I need to put some more here. 
I'm going to do something with this a little later. Like that, I think. It's going to be a minute until I do it. I need to get this smaller. I'm going to go really dark green. And then I'm going to just go over this line. I'm trying to do this a little faster. My This fin took me 50 minutes. But I was playing with colors and stuff. This one won't take that long. Just going over this line a little. And I think I'm going to make a little... Something like that. Maybe like that. And a little, a little darker in there. So, that'd be burning that a little bit. I'm just going to use my big burn. Lower it. Burn this side of it some. Let's see what it looks like without the line. It's, it's not going to look that good yet, but it's enough I can work on it now without the line. So I'm going to go back to chest that water. And I'm going to check my stream real quick. Yeah, right now they have some good deals on upgrading Corel. You know, you you can upgrade every couple years. You purchase it once, and then you just wait till it sells, and you can upgrade it for a hundred bucks every three years. It's really not that expensive. I mean, if you can't afford it, get GIMP. Or, you know, a lot of artists are using hat copies of uh, Psy and stuff, but and Psy is a good tool and has good blending options. But these hat copies affect your computer. And you want to support the companies if you can. Alright, I want to go smaller here. Not that small. Uh, there and lower the opacity to four. Blend that together, just kind of move that paint up, sculpt it, and then this hole oh, I want to kind of go on the dark towards, just kind of move the dark up, just moving the paints, moving the colors. Do not like hard lines. Hard lines are the type of things you want on machines, mecha, buildings, stuff like that. And sometimes not even then. They're they're just so strong and defiant. They they don't always look good. I like soft lines. Looks more realistic. And you know, see, it's, it's starting to shape up here to look like an actual popping out piece. It doesn't, it doesn't look 2D anymore. The more darker and the more highlights you have, the more it pops out. The more, the more the, the 2D pops out. But you can overdo it. Some things you want to really like that. When I do mushrooms, I really make it pop out. And I, like I said, I just started learning how to really paint this way without lines. I haven't been doing it this way for long. I've been painting digitally maybe seven, eight years and I'm just now getting you know from the cell shade or the the 
overlay type to the what I consider a more professional way and I'm even though I'm so far from professional. Okay. I want to do a bigger brush. Let's go over this real quick. Now before I do anything I want to go to blur it. It's in your blender. I'm just going to blur everything just a little bit. Again, no hard lines. And that made a bit of stuff I gotta fix now, so I'm gonna go to just add water. Take care of this. Blur is a little strong. Increase it. Circles. I think I got a little sunlight on my screen. I'm trying to blur out. Y'all can't see it, but I can. It looks white, but it's it's the light coming in my window messing with me. Alright, so now I'm gonna go back to burn. Small. And let's put some more details in here. This backside needs to be darker. I do want a little line here though. Right here I want a little darker. Right here. Right here. Alright, now I need to... You can't always get everything you want to blur, burn. Go back to base airbrush. More blending with just add water. It's too strong. I can do that a little bit. Add about eight. Now I'm going to take some of this lighter color and I want a pretty light base airbrush and I'm going to put like right here I want to highlight Dodge a little bigger, and I'm going to just kind of go ahead and put a few lines in there. Now I want to also go a little lighter. Base airbrush. Just 
keep blending darkening where you really want it to pop out more just keep working on it I could add more highlights on a separate layer, which is what I'm going to do. But for now, I'm going to keep working on this layer. dark color I want to so. okay I want to burn larger brush these folds I was telling you about earlier here some more I think I'll do on a separate layer. Blur? Not as strong. It's about eight. I'm going to back up this layer. I'm going to duplicate it. Layer. Duplicate the layer. I'm going to name the first one. I'm going to put back up behind it. If I mess up anymore, I have that. Alright, now I'm going to do a layer. I'm going to do a new layer. And I'm going to make it like a... I'm going to do like a SH for shade. It's going to be my shades and highlights. But as long as you know what it is. Go to base airbrush. Now, I want the bluish color. Like this dark blue here. A little blue in that. Yeah, kind of a bluish color. Alright. And I'm going to give some definition. I'm going to add like a highlight down that right there, I think. It's kind of the way it's shaped.
mess this up. It's on a new layer. It ain't no big deal. I'm gonna go to dodge. I'm not sure. No, I need to. I'm gonna go back to base airbrush actually. So I want a different layer. I'm gonna pick the almost white. Okay. Now you gotta have this pick under underlying color up for when you do the blending in a minute or it's gonna blend in white smaller brush a small brush here a little more opacity for this line big This document is a 5,000 by 5,000 pixel. I like to work in big. It's, you know, it's big enough for like a 4K display, but I need to... That was huge not long ago, but now it's already starting to become where that's not even that big. I'll probably move to 12K soon. But you gotta have a decent computer for working in resolutions that big. Alright, so I'm gonna go to Chess Add Water. here for a minute. Shh. Neighbors, dogs. Now I'm going to blur this. I have pets. In my videos, you just got to deal with barking. You know, I'm just had watering this, not blurring it so I'm lightly. If I didn't have that pickup underlying layer, this would be a total mess right now. But I want this not so dark, especially right there. And I may come in and do a little more details later, but I'm just... Okay, now... Just go in the same direction as the lines now. I am up a little in places. Okay. Alright, there's a little dark still. Go back to the layer underneath it. Blur this a little more. And then I'm going to hit burn on it one more time. Okay, 
burn. Smaller. Pretty similar scheme I'm trying to get between the two. Some of these places add a little more definition. Right here needs more definition, the back side of this fan. And then here, and in this corner. And right here. I want it a lot darker right there. And right here. Maybe. Right there a little too. Just add water. Smaller brush, bigger brush picks up more. It's like raising the opacity. I don't want it that strong. See how this one got these spots I did earlier? A little bit of texture. I'm going to do that on this one too. So I'm going to click, control click just the fin I've been working on. I'm going to hide it. I'm going to do another layer above those. I'm going to call it spot overlay. Now I am choosing. And Morgana's toolbrush is a rough skin texture, but it's basically just a scattered airbrush. You know, or in Photoshop, you can do like a, you know, like a skin pour brush or something. Alright, I'm going to do a dark color, almost black, over it. Throw them all over it. I'm going to do like almost white color. Throw that on there. And then I'm doing a pink pink color. Then I'm going to grab my eraser. I'm going to erase it from spots I don't want it. And I think I see something else I need to real quick blend. Blend this a little larger here. Y'all wonder what I'm listening to. I'm listening to a Cena Saga 2 soundtrack. I like, you know, I, I like to listen to really hard music normally, but when I have trawl, I put in light music, video game music stuff, just when I relax. Alright, so, anyhow, on spot overlay. I erase that where I want it. I'm going to change the layer to multiply. I mean overlay. And lower the opacity to where I want it. Where it's not super strong. I'm going to do about 58 I think on it. Alright so I created another pen. Alright. I went from this to this. Turn the line art on here. You see how I use that line art, you know, as as my molds. Now I got more I'm gonna do later on that, but for at this point, that's where I want to be. Starting to come together a little bit. You can see, you know, what I'm doing with these fin parts all over here and then I gotta render all that I gotta render the whole thing it's gonna take forever this video I'm just showing you how I'm doing this I'm gonna do all the other fins off video but I'm gonna do it like this 
get that part done and then I'll show some more you know so I'll show it without the background color it don't look that good without the background in it but there it is See some definition starting to pop up there. Hope y'all liked it. Hope y'all learned something. It'll look even better when we're done, but I'm pretty happy where it is right now. I uh, hope this streamed okay, and thank y'all very much. Bye.